our apple orchards are getting a makeover. It's thanks to plant and food scientists who are developing systems that grow up to twice as many apples per hectare over traditional methods. The secret? To design orchards that capture more sunlight, with trees that don't cast as much shade on themselves, producing more fruit. We knew there was a potential here because there was more than 40% of the sun energy available through a season that was not currently being used by our current orchard designs. So we were interested to see if we could redesign the orchard to capture more energy, which should translate into more productivity. Typically, very good orchards in our country are producing between 80 and 100 tonnes per head. The project is in its seventh year. Uh, none of our trees are completely mature, but so far the progress has been very encouraging. When our trees are fully mature, uh, we are hoping and our data are projecting that we will be somewhere in that range between 160 and 200 tonnes per hectare. Two-dimensional trees have been around for several years, but the trial's tree shape has brought further gains. And the longer an apple is on the new tree shape, the bigger the gain. Varieties that ripen later in the season can achieve double the harvest. The later season, larger fruited varieties like Envy and Fuji are most probably going to be the most productive. Different configurations were tried and they've settled on a two metre row spacing as optimum. And there are other benefits, more fruit that are top quality. So in these new systems we're getting a much better fruit quality in terms of fruit size, colour and taste. Generally we do take a, a large proportion of the fruit in, in the first and second picks which suggests that, that our maturation is, is much more even and our colour development is much better than our traditional systems. They say there was no eureka moment in the trial to date with the new system steadily reflecting theoretical gains. Why hasn't anyone done this before? It seems quite basic really. Just let more sun land on the tree. There's been a lot of talk about it over many years um, and um, we asked exactly those questions for quite a long time. Um, everyone was talking about the light limitation of orchard production and no one seemed to be doing anything about it and we gave a lot of thought to it. Uh, we think we're a relatively innovative group internationally and we figured out ways to approach it from a scientific point of view and a practical point of view and um, gone ahead and done it. We've got lots of critics, we've got lots of doubters scientifically as well as in industry and we enjoy, the, we enjoy that environment um, and we let the data speak for itself. Higher yields will make orchards more profitable with the narrow rows providing cost savings in the coming technologies of robotic picking, pruning and spraying. At the beginning of the FOX program we consulted by engineers and there was a discussion around what tree architecture would we need to not only um, um, improve yield and quality but for future focus ensure that we could have orchards that are amenable to automation and robotics. With trees in the trial still not fully mature, there are potentially even more gains to be made in this move away from the traditional big, bushy, unwieldy, three-dimensional tree, which is constantly casting shade on itself. The apple industry is well on its way with two-dimensional trees, so the gains from the trial should be easier to implement. But full adaptation, assuming uptake, is at least several years away. At the moment we're regenerating probably 10% of our orchards per annum, um, so it's going to take a little while to um, get all of our orchards in the same sort of two-dimensional structure. Similar principles are being applied to trials of several other fruits in New Zealand with promising results. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.